Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we are working on a brand new module, module number six, and we are working on the first lesson of that module, mo lesson number one. And today we're going to start doing something with decimals that we've done before with fractions, which is to take a whole and divide it into tenths. The only difference is that we're going to do that with decimals rather than with fractions. So let's take a look at about four of the problems from tonight's homework and see if we can give you some help figuring them out. Let's take a look at the first one. Let's see if we can read together part of number one. Number one, shade the first four units of the tape diagram. Well, let's just do that first. Shade the first four units of the tape diagram. Oh, okay, well there's, all of our, there's our whole, let's see. I'm gonna just shade then the first four units. There, of my tape diagram. Count by tenths to label the number line using a fraction and a decimal for each point. Circle the decimal that represents the shaded part. Well, let's see. So they've done the first part for me, so let's take a look at that. They counted this far, and they said, well, okay, that's one. Let's see, that's one-tenth. Does that make sense? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and we got to this point. This would be one of the tenths. So I see where they got that. That would be one-tenth. So let's see, what would the next one be? The next spot here would be one-two. That would be two-tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and write that first in fraction form, because I that's the one I'm more familiar with. But then I see, oh, okay, two-tenths is also the same as 0 0.2 at two-tenths. Excellent. All right, well, I'm going to leave you guys to go ahead and label the rest of these points out here, 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 and then figure out what is the point that actually corresponds with four units of our tape diagram because we are going to circle the decimal that represents the shaded part. So once we figure out how far this is, we'll have a decimal circled here in number one. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two and three are very similar, so I'm just going to do one of those problems with you. I'm going to do the first one in number two. Write the total amount of water in fraction form and decimal form. Shade the last bottle to show the correct amount. Oh, I see. The last bottle is over here. All right, well, let's take a look at this one. Let's see. We've got, let's see, it looks like one liter, all right, so that looks like our whole, a whole bottle, and how many parts is it divided up into? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten parts. Okay, so I know then that I'm going to have ten parts, and how many of those, let's see, are shaded in? Are, how, how high is the water in our bottle? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven of my 10 parts are shaded. And you will remember that we've had very similar things like this. Usually we have them just laid on their side, right? We've got a unit, one lead, in this case one liter. We've divided it up into 10 pieces like this. This looks awfully like a number line. And then we've gone out this far. Aha, we've gone out seven of our 10 places. So that is literally seven tenths. And now we know how to express that as a decimal. Seven tenths is zero holes and seven tenths like that, zero point seven, seven tenths. Excellent. I'm going to let you guys work on this liter bottle and then work on shading this liter bottle based on the number in decimal that you've been given. And I'm also going to have you guys work on the kilogram versions here below where we're measuring things out and showing our weight in kilograms or in kilogram fractions. Let's take a look at the next problem. I'm going to skip over number four because number four looked exactly like it was in today's um, problem set. So if you guys worked on the problem set uh, in class today, you will definitely be able to work on the homework in number four. It's exactly the same. So let's take a look at one part of number five. Number five. Number five says, fill in the blanks to make the sentence true in both fraction and decimal form. So let's take a look at 5a. 5a says, four-tenths of a centimeter plus some number of centimeters is a whole centimeter. Ah, oh, well, we've done this before in fractional form. Let's see. In fractional form, if this is the whole, and we had four tenths, how many more tenths would we need? Let's see, we would need five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That sounds like six more. We would need six more tenths to get to a whole. Does that make sense? Let's see. Four plus six would be ten, and our unit is tenths. Would ten tenths be a whole? Yeah, ten tenths is a whole. Sure enough. And now we can see that the part over here is exactly the same. It's just in decimal form. So if we had four tenths of a centimeter, how many more centimeters would we need to get to a hole? Well, we would just need that six tenths, right? That same six tenths. Well, how do we write six tenths? Well, that's zero ones and six tenths. Excellent. That would give us the exact same expression. We can do four tenths plus six tenths in fractional form, or we can do four tenths plus six tenths 
in decimal form. Either way, we're going to get to a whole centimeter right there. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more. Problem number six asks, asks us to match each amount expressed in unit form to its equivalent fraction in decimal. Let's see what they did with their first one. Let's see, they found two tenths here all written out in unit form, and then they drew it, oh, two tenths right here in fractional form, literally two out of ten parts, two tenths. And then in decimal form, aha, two tenths. All right, well, I'm going to do one more. Let's see. Let's take a look at uh, four tenths. Four tenths here. Where is four tenths? Oh, right here. Four tenths is right there. Okay, I'm going to use it my blue pen. So four tenths is the same as four tenths is the same as, oh, I see it right here at the top. Four tenths right here. Four tenths in decimal form. Four tenths, four tenths, four tenths. Well, this is the first lesson of decimals that's getting you ready to go. And a lot of what we've done tonight should look very familiar because it's very similar to what we did in module number five, except in module number five, we did it with fractions. So thanks for joining me again for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.